Hello, nice to see you here. Welcome back. Yes, I am doing. It's within Wednesdays, really, but we're gonna put this out tomorrow. So hi, how you been? It's me, Wingish Nibe Mishaki Kwe. Wingish Nibush Mishkiki Kwe. Two different ways to say sweet grass water medicine woman in a gym way. Yep, that's me. Your friendly and freaky ass medicine woman. A little more put together today, so did that just for y'all, all my subscribers there. Trying to look more professional. Didn't want to get out of my PJs, but when you look at my videos, usually I don't. <laughs> So, yeah, I put myself together. What you think? What you think? How does that look? We good? We good? I love this vest. I found it at a thrift shop, but let's see. This is this is how I choose for labels. Okay. You see that? Sweet grass. You see, it was made just for me. Sweet grass. Cuz that's me. I am sweet grass. Yep. Okay. So as we carry on, right? I am also Christiana Carr and Chris Carr Superstar. Yep. All this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome to all you beautiful divine beings right here too. Right? Remember, maybe we need a refresher because you're never there. So stop trying to get there. Just be here. Because right, once you get there, we say, oh, I'm here. So let's be happy with being here. All right. So how's it going? You see, I got my little baby out. I haven't been using her in a while since I got the um boxes for my cards <sighs> wore myself out man sure worked up a sweat there too knew my little damn thing oh my goodness man i get too old well my body thinks it is I'm trying to convince it it's not um what am i doing right this is my little baby this is me it's within wednesdays and this is what's in within me in my little heart and this is my little puppy that was Whiskey's dog. I can't remember the puppy's name. But this is also why I could not say no to my puppy, Jewel. Because Jewel looked just like this little puppy. Now, I have seen puppies and kitties and all that and go, yes, they're cute. But no, I'm not going to take one. Thank you. Thank you very much. But no, no, thank you. But they're cute. I'll come back and pet them here. But I could not say no to my little Jewel. And isn't that cool? Ha <laughs> ha. I don't always mean to rhyme, it just comes out. Maybe that's a hint thing that I need to be writing more. I've been trying. I got inspired for a couple poems or tunes. Maybe it's songs, I don't know. I've spent my life like singing. I'll s like sing a narration of uh, what I'm doing around the house, right? And it's cool because those are the cute little things I'm seeing my kids pick up on in that too. And how I speak in all these accents while well, my kids do that too. It's really cool. But hey, how, you know, can't blame them. They grew up in a house with this weird old mama, right? So, right? Remember? Wonderfully, internally, externally, radiantly divine original. That's the one I'm sticking to. It still it took me a while to get it to flow off my tongue. But that's all right. Weirdo. The only way to be. And that's me. Yeah, so how is it going? Anybody with kids in school? Well, we're still trying to get into routines here. All right, yeah, had, a, had, a, had it out with my girl today. It's the accumulation, right? Learning, learning. Learning that stuff and... Well, and she does it better than her brothers ever did. And that's the worst, right? It doesn't help. It does not help at all. Because it drives me a little crazy, right? And then I feel bad. She's my only girl. And it's no good to parent from guilt. That does not serve your children in a higher purpose, so to speak. I don't know. I'm looking for words and trying to choose them too much. Ooh, it is going to be a warm one today. Oh, I hope I get to go out on the boat again. Yeah, I put the post. Yeah, I'm a tag along. So what, right? Yeah, my BBS Laura says, hey, you want to come out on the boat? I'm like, oh, okay. Yep, because I, I didn't spend much time on the water. We grew up, it was Johnson's Beach. We used to hike down to Johnson's Beach all the time and swim in the water there. Down the beach. And we're jumping, seeing how far we can touch, right? Get out with those drop-offs, right? See how far down we could go. Swimming out past the buoy lines. 
<laughs> I could swim, right? I love pretending I was a mermaid, but swimming out, I would start to get a little panicky because we'd swim out, right? And I'd tire out as I'm swimming back. And there was a few times I put my feet down and uh, <laughs> got out a mouthful of water. So then I started, I wouldn't put my feet down until my hands hit the ground. Because if my hands could feel the ground, then it was safe to put my feet down and my head would be above the water. <laughs> so, but yes, this, this has been a really beautiful summer. Like, a really emotional summer. Like a lot of releasing, but a lot of beautiful things coming in too. And do you notice that? Pay attention, because that's what brings more of that good stuff in. When you validate that, when you see that, when you notice and you're grateful for it, right? That's, it brings more to be grateful for. I mean, I only speak from my experience there, not the works for me, right? I release, I let the feelings go and then open up, you know, because I can feel all the good things coming, coming, coming. Oh yeah, that's Knackle Bear. He's got a concert coming up here in a few days. I think it was on the 17th he's playing in Toronto. Oh, yeah. He plays beautifully, too. Love that knuckle bear. Medicine for the people. I believe in the good things coming and Black as Night. My favorite songs. Oh, a lot of them. If you like watching the YouTube videos, he does some cool jam sessions up in um, the gondolas. Maybe it was in BC or maybe Seattle or something. I think he's from Seattle anyway. But they're up in the gondolas, you know. Every time I think gondola, I think, you know, the boats in Italy. But they call these gondolas. Maybe I have the words wrong. I don't know. Um, I rode up in one once. But anyways, the Knackle Bear has um, just some acoustic, some, what's that called? Unplugged? Whatever it is, right? Jam sessions on these um, gondolas being carried up to the top of the mountain so it's really cool check that out i don't know if you can get to them through mine i have a a playlist i call healing music and i've just saved all the stuff that heals me so it's eclectic like me <laughs> this music is very healing that was my first have i shared that with you yet and it might still come i actually built a little model and everything when when i was uh well early 20s before i moved to bc that was one of my big business ideas, right? Crazy Chrissy Cars Dance Therapy. Because that's what I would always do. Ah, I can't do it like I used to. So that's why I'm trying to work more in the singing parts. Because my body used to likes to dance. But it really likes the rest too afterwards. Because, you know, I don't no, take it easy on the dance floor. I've been learning it and I do take it. A little easier but you know I go I go hard man Ow. <laughs> and I hurt myself but I'm having fun and I hurt myself so okay that's good that's good we would go out dance and I call my dance hangovers because I dance so hard I don't drink I'm the designated driver so I call them my dance hangovers because go out girlfriends to be all drinking and make sure they get home safe and and I come home and you know, I always intend to leave before closing time, but somehow, right? The lights are on and then we're going. <laughs> but yeah, when I get home and then I wake up with a dance hangover, I say, the body's so sore, my head hurts, I'm so tight, and uh, all except for the gut rot. I don't always get the gut rot, so it isn't all the, but my body feels it, and I'm so tired and drained, but I'm like, yeah, still love it. I haven't been dancing in a long time. When was the last time we went dancing, sisters? Been a long time. Here we go to a divey place called the White House. I just love it. I love those divey bars. I call them the catch-all bars because you see all kinds of characters in there. I love people watching. That's very cool, especially when you're sober and you're watching. And then we get there early. We say, you know, party doesn't start till we get there because every time we get there, it'd be kind of not too many people there so yay got the whole dance floor to ourselves and then uh and then people show up so my shannon baby and i would joke around that's right it's because we're here and everybody comes they're like they showed up it's time to go <laughs> well you know yeah 
Oh, it's fun. Haven't done that in a long time. Yeah, all types of characters. The White House. And I haven't gone to too many other places here, Peter Bro. Been here going on 11 years now. I didn't even get out to that place till I was here for two years. Frick, I didn't even get out for it until I was here for like two years. I was um, very shy, right? It was hard to break out of that. Thought like I didn't, I didn't really know how to talk to people. So I was, uh, I isolated myself. That's kind of what I do. I isolate myself. Can't blame anybody else. You know, I'm no victim, right? These are things and the lessons that I've learned along the way. So I learned a lot from that last relationship about myself going through okay is it this do i have fear of commitment is it is it you know because i don't like to argue right and i don't want to be in a relationship where there's fighting and bickering all the time because i've seen that and that doesn't you know i mean to joke around and tease each other when it's all playful but if somebody's feelings are hurt that's you know it's not okay you know and if you're teasing somebody and they say hey you kind of hurt my feelings there well then, uh, you know, the a nice thing to do would be apologize. For me, I got a lot of, well, that's your fault you took that personally, right? Or I'd say, you know, I'm kind of sensitive about this, so, you know, like, I can laugh at myself. Oh my goodness, can I laugh at myself. But, um, there are some certain things, right, that there's just, I'm sensitive about that, don't tease me about that, you know? I can laugh at myself and maybe in a private setting, but, you know, not teasing me in the open about things. And that's happened quite a bit. And then when I've gotten upset, when it's visible, right, I start tearing up. Then I get made fun of even more. That happened a lot in school, too. So that's why I, I like, kind of shut in. So, so it carried on from childhood, right, where my mother would get in trouble if I cried. So I'm like, okay, don't cry. I'm really little. To, you know... When I showed my emotions and my feelings being hurt, that would bring more um, bullying, being made fun of, the teasing, and I'd feel more embarrassed. So another reason why I shut in, I'm going to go hide myself when I cry, right? Because it seemed my tears didn't bring on comfort. It brought on, like, ridicule and, and whatever that was. So hence it being such a big thing when I'm sharing it here. And thank you. Nobody said, wow, what a crybaby, right? Thank you. I appreciate that. And then you get more. <laughs> okay, but at least I have some happy videos too, right? You don't have to watch the crying ones. There's some on there just if you need to cry too. Like sometimes I needed that. I've cried along with some videos on there that are mine, right? I can all cry along with mine too. <laughs> <laughs> try to take myself out and watch right and go see myself as, as a beautiful part of this creation too right because I'm not separate why do I separate myself from that because I know deep down we are all part we are all beautiful divine beings on this beautiful divine planet it's amazing and I love it even in my lowest moments you know of course, ask me, and, uh, uh, and when I'm right in that lowest moment, I might not say that I love it, but, right? <laughs> I can. And you know I don't love it right now, but really I do, because I know it'll get better. I'm going to get through. <laughs> and I will. And I am doing it. We're doing it, kid. I gotcha, right? Hey, sweetie, I'm taking care of you. That little one went through a lot she's not the only little one too either but she also had lots of beautiful examples she did have lots of encouragement too so there was a balance there's a balance in my life it's a balance in yours do you recognize it hmm. let me know share all right that's my little quickie for today oh big as heart hugs ever Thank you for being you, shining your light through in everything you do, you know, because this world is much more beautiful and brighter with you in it. So thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Oh. <laughs>
Okay, you know what that was? That was, I have a chair that wheeled, so I pushed against the table, and the wheels started flying out, and, you know. Well, you kind of saw, I almost fell on my face. <laughs> Hi, I can laugh at myself. Always. <laughs> have a great day.